Hello, you are watching Unipro Eugene podcast. Here we discuss the most popular topics introduced by our users and show the helpful ways of using Eugene, a free cross-platform genome analysis switch. PDB or MMDB formats are designed to represent macromolecular 3D structure data. Today we will see how Eugene makes it possible to work with such data formats. For this purpose we will open a 3D structure from remote PDB database. We choose PDB and use ID from the hint, namely we type 1CRN. This is a 4-letter code for crumbing protein molecule. Then we press OK. And the status line reports to us that the download is running. When the load is finished, we see a 3D macromolecular structure view, which is placed at the 3D structure view area, and the corresponding sequences. In our case, it's just one sequence. In addition, the loaded document has been opened at the current project view along with the list of its sequences, annotations and 3D structures. To see the relation between the sequence and its 3D structure, let's select a part of the sequence. Corresponding part of the 3D view has also become highlighted in yellow. If it's required, we could change the selection color by bringing up the 3D structure viewer area context menu. We choose settings and then press set selection color. The 3D view itself can be rotated by moving mouse cursor within its area and holding left mouse button. We can zoom it with mouse wheel or by pressing the zoom toolbar buttons. Also, we can bring up the context menu and enable the spin mode, in which the view rotates automatically. We have multiple options to customize the structure view. Let's watch it render it with balls and sticks style. In this molecular model, the atoms are represented by spheres or balls, connected by rods which represent the bonds. We bring up the context menu and select rendering style, balls and sticks. Here it is. The default rendering style is worms. Let's get back to it. Finally, we will calculate our structure molecular surface. Bringing context menu up, molecular surface, we could choose solvent accessible surface, solvent excluded surface, wonder whiles or none. The solvent accessible surface is the surface area of a biomolecule that is accessible to a solvent. Let's watch it. The task is running according to the status line. The task is finished and we see the SAS. Solvent excluded surface is a closely related concept represented as a cavity in bulk solvent, mostly the inverse of the solvent accessible surface. Let's trigger it. The task has been finished and we see the SES. That's how we work with 3D molecular structures and customize their review. Thank you for watching and feel free to comment our videos and post requests to our forum. Have a good day.